Hello everybody, it's time for an update on the Kupfer Bootstrap project. This time I will go step by step uh, and on how to install Arch Linux on the Poco F1 phone. And uh, yeah, we will check out the official documentation and see if we get it to work for the first time. Let's begin with the quick start guide. Uh, it wants us to install the Kupfer Bootstrap. Um, exactly. You have to make sure you have a docker and git installed and python as well. Um, then we need to git clone the Kupfer bootstrap. Uh, let's do this. And let's go with the dev branch because most of the time it is more developed and has the latest fixes. Going to the Kupfer bootstrap project. Okay, yeah, sure, let's do that. Creating a sim link. Perfect, it works. We can either do it manually or via this command. So let's create a configuration file. Oh, I need it. Need... Exactly, we will use Docker. Uh, we will use Ccash for recompilation reasons, clean mode, yes, true, cross compile. This will use all the threads. Continue with the dev branch. I will set 15. Do not check space, use dev branch. Sure, sure. I think I can, can go through all of that. Yes, we want to save the config. Uh -huh. Profile, parent. I don't think that we have to do anything here. Pick your device. Okay. This doing something. Okay, I will about that. Let's see if we can configure profile like this. Default. No, it's still. Doing some Docker stuff. Oh, okay, that just took a while. Okay, so we can see now the available devices. I have the Beryllium Tianma, the Tianma panel. So I will just specify that. Cool, this will pull now all available uh, repositories. That's cool. Uh, what I know for sure is that Plasma Mobile is not working because of the Plasma 6 migration. So I will go with Bosch Minimal and include some packages like NeoVim and let's see Emax Open SSH. Okay, let's say the Cooper hostname, and let's say Poco. Why not? Brilliant. Username, uh, I like this one. Let's just uh, say one for this time. Yeah, let's give him some extra size. I think this is for the boot partition, but yeah, and save the config. Let's see. Uh, package builds, flavor profiles. Yeah, I forgot we skipped the documentation. <laughs> Oops. Uh huh. Okay, this is manual. Manual configuration. Okay, it doesn't say. Extra size for what? I guess this this was the quick start guide, but uh, we want to build the image now, and exactly this will tell us how to build the image. 
what we want to do is uh, image build. This will start uh, the compilation and do everything for you. So let's just wait and see what happens. It's done. Mm -hmm. that, that means we have now an image. Now we need to flash it. Uh, how to do that? Uh, let's see. Okay, so first of all, uh, we don't need to use actually this documentation. Uh, there is also, if we do this image and minus minus help, we also get the same information. So we want to flash the image now. Uh, it's the flash command. And in this case, I will uh, flash it directly to the SD card. If you have any issues with that, uh, try to use an USB 2.0 port on on adapter because uh, faster micro SD cards can throw an I/O error. So yeah, just you know that. I will put the SD cards now inside my computer and let's see. Okay, let's be okay. It's the SDC one. So let's do Cooper image flash pool. We, we could use user data. Uh, this would flash um, the image uh, to the phone's disk, but I have some bad experience with that, with uh, some IO errors. So you can try it. Maybe it works or maybe not, but I will do it with my micro SD card now. For that, I need scoop for bootstrap. Exactly that command. Uh, minus M tells tells them to use DD, so I can specify a block device. Uh, in this case, the micro SD card is uh, connected directly via an, an USB adapter. Uh, SDC, and I want to flash the full image. So let's do this. And while this is happening, I will boot my phone into the fast boot mode. So we can flash the bootloader as well. Okay, it seems now to have finished the flashing. And uh, now I will, will flash the boot partition as well. Uh, a boot image. That's it, and use the sync comment to make sure everything is synced with the uh, microSD card. Perfect, and put the microSD card now into the phone. Perfect. Uh, now I'll reboot the phone, and let's see if it works. Great, it works. This was the Fosh, Fosh Minimal installation. That's why we don't have any applications here. That's how I like it. But obviously you can get more applications. Okay, so that was the installation of Kupfer Bootstrap on my Pocophone F1. This time it was much smoother than two years ago. Uh, just make sure that um, if something goes wrong with the flashing process, uh, you try out USB 2.0 uh, and the micro SD card instead of uh, internal storage if you have an issue with that. Or join the Matrix community uh, of Kupfer Bootstrap. Um, we can help you out there as well. So, see you in the next video.